Anyone heard of this phone? Rug gear? Let's check it out. So what I've got here is the Rugged Gear phone. This is the 128 model. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at it. So once you get this back plate open, you're going to notice that you got your micro SD card here that is supported. You got your SIM card one and your SIM card two that you could put right there. Looks like it takes the micro SIM card, not the nano. So once you got all those put in, all you got to do is get your battery next. Line up the connection points. And then put the battery plate back on. Okay, so let's take a look around the phone and kind of get a little tour and how this feels. And we're actually going to do a little water test right at the end of the video. So to get the screen going, you can just press the center button here, probably just any button to wake it up. Let's go through a menu and see what kind of options we got. So I go to phone book, messages, calls, go to file manager, music or multimedia, settings, organizer, profiles, that's basically your sound. So if you have a headset, outdoor, meeting, silent, and so forth. Looks like we can install some games. I wonder what kind of games you can get on this. Java era, Java list, no files. So it looks like you can download files onto it for the Java area. So we got puzzle, start game, hmm, okay. I'll have to play around with that later. I'm not that good at games. <laughs> Apparently I'm not really good at puzzles. We got a panda game. Let's see what this does. So this is interesting. Oh, <laughs> game over. <laughs> this is, uh, man, this brings back some memories. I was hoping there'd be snake on here. That'd be freaking awesome. We got services, internet service, you know, Bluetooth settings, extras, calendar, and ebook. So in the settings, we got dual SIM settings, phone settings, security, connect. I'm not sure what that is. Power saving, restore settings, and that's about it. So the camera is obviously not going to be that great. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's like old school. So maybe if you just need to take one, you can take one, but don't expect the greatest quality out of that. Although it might be better than what you think. <laughs> See what the options are. Okay, so we can switch to video recorder. We got photos, camera settings. Basically, some different options there. You can get some different effects, storage. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give a tour around the physical part of the phone. This has like this rubber material. It feels really good, like it's got a nice grip to it. It definitely adds some nice, like, I feel like this could definitely survive a drop or two. Up here at the top, looks like we got some kind of sensor or light. This is where we got our headphone jack. There's basically nothing on the sides. Down at the bottom is a little hatch here, and that's where your USB connection is, so you can charge the phone up. Just make sure it's nice and secure, so that way it does retain its waterproof ability. On the back, we got our camera that I showed off, and then also, it does show you that it is waterproof and shockproof. The buttons feel kind of like that rubbery kind of feel. Like I'm really getting vibes back to like the back of the Nokia days. If you press any of the arrow buttons, it's going to kind of bring it to your shortcuts menu.
Somehow I activated the light. I'm not quite sure how I did that. I'm going to have to look that up. But for now, I want to test out how it does in water. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Make sure the screen's on. You even got the flashlight going, and let's test it out. All right, so it's still on. Still got the flashlight on. So I'm wondering, like, let's see. Since it's not a touchscreen phone, you should be able to still operate it. Yep, that's pretty cool. So it looks like you can still operate and do stuff. I'm even using the camera there. Take an underwater picture. Oh, it's always fun doing underwater pictures. So yeah, you can still use this phone while it's wet, while it's still underwater. It's still gonna work. So this is actually my first non-smartphone phone review that I put on the channel. I thought it was worth checking out. It might be something that you could actually use. Or if you're looking for just something, just a phone, like that's all you want for maybe something on construction site, on outdoors. If you don't want to mess up your actual good smartphone and you just need something for phone calls, if you need something to give to employees, like this could be actually a really good option. Heck, for grandma or grandpa that isn't really wanting something that is like a smartphone, but just needs something that's rugged, that's gonna last, it can get wet, you can drop it, and it's still gonna work. Heck, it could even be your first kid's phone because it's not gonna get busted up if they drop it, if they, you know, go to the pool or the beach or get caught in the rain, whatever the case is, like it's not going to get messed up. So it's really cool. It's actually a pretty neat option. I think it's worth checking out. I'll leave a link down below in the description of where you can pick this up. It's actually only about 75 bucks. It's not very expensive at all. It'll work on networks like T-Mobile and AT&T. So go ahead and pick up this prepaid card, slap that SIM card on in there, and you're ready to go. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this along with other reviews, unboxings, and how-to guides. And until then, stay techy.